Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to a very special toy review. Because, as you can see, today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime. Uh, I just released a video a couple hours ago of me unboxing him. I've gotten his transformation down pretty well. I do have one major complaint with him that actually makes me kind of hate the figure. Well, his truck mode, which sucks because his truck mode was probably going to be my favorite mode, but now it's ruined. Not to say the robot mode is bad, it's just kind of bo not kind of boring, is what I want to say, but yeah. Got the festive hat, but um, uh, yeah, we'll take a quick look at the box. Beautiful picture of him there on the front. Back there, he's 37 steps. Beautiful top, box art. And uh, that is it. The box over there. A quick little update about my whole 360 thing. We are, I'm trying to get that figured out. Right now as it is, I would have to restart everything. I'm gonna try and figure something out to do with that old Xbox to try and see if we can somehow transfer stuff over to it, the new one. But enough about that, let's talk about this guy. Oh wait, one more thing. Um, let me know in the comments below, guys, uh, on that one photo I posted. Would you like me to do this as like a live stream video? Just one bit, like, um, or like, a, like, would you like me to do this as one big like live stream video? Or would you want me to do this as, like, individual episodes? Because I was thinking about for the individual episodes, if I did that, I would either film them, like, a day at a time, or I could just film the, I could film the whole, like, building process of this in one day, and then I could split the video down. Because I'm filming on my phone, and my phone only has, like, a 26-minute um, uh, long video limit. Uh, but, yeah. Definitely be taking a look at this guy sometime. I just got him this year for Christmas. Uh, I did get a new bike as well, so maybe some new bike videos soon. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at... Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. But now let's take a look at Holiday Optimus Prime. Uh, first, we'll take a look at his trailer. Um, the cool thing about this that I was wondering... Oh, yeah. Beautiful logo there. Uh, hold on. There's the gun. This piece here, which is kind of like an adapter in a way, the cool feature is with this thing... It is removable. So if you if you're like me and you've seen the movie like um uh what was it um convoy with the the guy's truck thing and it sits all the way back <gasps> dude I finally I have this kind of truck design I I know it wasn't like this but dude I could get the um uh, the tanker thing that could be cool you can see and you could probably tell the issue with this guy I have oh yeah see that just goes like that and then it can easily just slip back over so then. And then that just slips back on like that. But the the complaint I have, and we're gonna have to fix this sometime. The goddamn under bottom or the other carriage. Look at that. You see that arm piece that sticks out? It does not go in place. I don't know what the heck's wrong with my copy, but it does not go in place. There's like, there's definitely not enough space for it. So me and my dad are probably just gonna have to like shave down some plastic or something to fix it, which is really unfortunate. Um, this is how he came in the box too. When I got him out of the box, I noticed that his arm was like that. That sucks. But, uh, yeah. Real quick, take a look at the truck. It says, Happy Holidays. Got the Matrix there in the back of the truck. Love the look at it. Very, a look of it. Very detailed. Just, uh, that arm. Um, here is the gun. It still does flip in half. And, yes, it's blast effect compatible. Obviously, it's the same exact freaking gun. Uh, the trailer, if you're curious, this piece can remove. Because it is the exact same. If you flip this open, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this creamy white color uh, thing. Not creamy white, it's just pure white. Um, uh, <laughs> cream, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, no. But yeah, I think my favorite part of this whole set is just that Autobot logo. I love looking at the Autobot logo with the Christmas hat. Can we get a Decepticon Halloween crossover next year? That'd be cool. Hasbro, if you're watching this, can we get a Decepticon Halloween crossover next year with like the Decepticon logo with like a witch's hat or something? That'd be cool. But yeah, as you can see, here he is. Very cool. Um, my brother says like um he doesn't like Volvo trucks because he says they're like Asian, even though my dad says they originated in America. I don't know. But yeah, again, that piece there at the bottom means he wobbles a lot, so he can't really lo roll straight. If I try to push him down, then it just yeah, it just drags. But yeah, enough about the truck mode. Let's get into robot mode. And as you can see, another uh weird thing is 
Um, I'm starting off in truck mode because what I'm going to do for videos is however a thing starts off in the box, that's how I'm going to start it off in the video. So save the other mode you haven't seen yet for later. Oh yeah, again, trailer, cool, little candy cane striping. Now to the truck. So first thing you want to do is you want to take smokestack, flip that over. You want to take side panels here, flip these like that, and then like that. Same thing on the other side. Uh, and then you want to take these arms here and just flip them down. They will softly snap into place. Just like that. You can see these things have like slots on the arms there to go into the bit here. That's how they connect. Um, it, there's also this really... That is pathetically thin plastic. That's ridiculous how thin that plastic is. But anyways, now we move on to the legs. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is... Oh, wait, no. You want to split them, obviously. You want to take the front grill sections and do that. Just like that. And you're going to take the legs. And you kind of have to wiggle them apart. Yeah, you got to wiggle them down like that and then wiggle them apart. And then flip that piece like that. And then kind of just wiggle the leg out. And then you want to flip out the foot. See there, there's foot. Next thing you want to do is form the so-called boots, is what people are saying. So you want to flip that piece like that, flip that piece up like that, snaps in nice and satisfyingly. Uh, take this piece, bring that over, then flip the knee all the way back. As this piece, you see the way the notch is going to go in there. Look at that, and then it just snaps them just like that. And yeah, that is kind of lame. That is just the whole freaking truck cab on the back of his legs. That is kind of lame. Uh, hold up, hold up. Uh, same thing with the other leg. Just like so. Clarence be kind of damned. Love how the um, truck grills are like his kneecaps. So when you get to there, then you want to take this piece here, flip it around, and just sort of tab it into place. Bring the legs forward. I love how the knee pads are the grill of the truck. That's cool. Um, then you want to take this section here and take these white panels and just flip them into form. Real abs. He's got a bit smaller. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Um, next thing you want to do is you would think you would have to spin the waist around or some bull crap like that, which that would be weird if he was like that, but no. Um, spin this around. Jesus, he's really thin. But yeah. Um, then you want to take the arms and just flip them down. Take this whole section here and just like... Oh, wait, I forgot one step. Uh, take the front chest here. Once you flip those down, flip that down, and then this could come up and have onto those i think that's how it works yep that's how it works um and then you want to take this part once you got it down to here you want to then just like flip that section like that so then you could split that section there and then that tabs in locking in the waist then you want to take this section here and flip that down He does have light piping, even though it is green. It's weird. Uh, and last, but uh, not least, uh, flip out the hands, which are very Laser Prime-esque. I don't know why they're going with this whole new hand flip-out feature. It's very weird. And there is Holiday Prime. And real quick, we will give him his gun, which was first out of the box. Really hard to get in his hand. And uh, there he is. There is Holiday Prime. Take a quick look at him. Beautiful sculpting there. Nice painted logo. Oh, people are saying these are supposed to be like boots. The knees are garbage, bro. They barely move. It's just annoying as heck. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, You can also, uh, if you still have that piece like that, you can just go like, tab it in. Um, It is a very unique design of Optimus since we've never seen it before. Also, real quick, we will open up his chest to reveal a really weird colored matrix. It's just green. Can I get it up? 
There it is. Beautiful. There you go. Uh, Posability wise, I'll just show it off real quick since I still have plenty of time on this video. Elbows, there is a wrist swivel. Head can move, but it is tight. No up and up, slight down, and that's all you get for up. Knee, thigh rotation, hip rotation, you know, all the stuff, all the works. A monstrous ankle. Uh, right waist swivel up. Waist swivel up. It's just like, more. but yeah. Um, there he is. A beautiful look. I do quite like it. Don't really know why they just gave him those monstrous ass calves. It's really weird also how this one leg has the smokestack on it, but the other one doesn't. It makes it kind of uneven. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's about it for this guy. So let's get to the... Oh, wait, real quick. Backpack look. Yeah, trailer hitch. Yeah. Let's get to the outro. So this was my video review of the Transformers Holiday Special, Holiday Optimus Prime. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I just noticed this chest is like... I don't know why they did that. But anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review uh, video of Holiday Optimus Prime. I personally love him. I think he's cool. I kind of classify him in the crossover category since, well, it is, you know, Christmas and uh, and Transformers. So it's sort of a crossover, I would say. So he, even though there's no crossover logo, he's probably going to go in my crossover section. Uh, or maybe for now, go on the top shelf right there as my sort of little Christmas display. I'm probably going to put him there maybe until the end of December. But yeah, that was the, the review of the Holiday Optimus Prime. Uh, oh, it even says like Volvo on it, so it's an officially licensed um, uh, Volvo product. Interesting. <laughs> that box is like really easy to do that with. But yeah, um, that's it for now, guys. So as always, pack proton packs, fire steam locomotive, start your Lorenz, and let's transform and roll out. And remember, we're going to be taking a look at another big guy. This is going to be one of the biggest ones yet. Holiday, or not holiday, Lego Prime, and I was even thinking about if I really like that set of Lego, I might get the Lego Titanic in my dreams, I'm just kidding. It'd be cool if I could, but maybe. But yeah, that's about it for now, guys, so as always, I'll see you in the next video review. Bye-bye!